Okay, I've decided I'm gonna do all of these ones in a single recording because it is a lot of effort to whilst I'm doing this to um, edit these down. But yeah, so some slight progress has been made. I had noted previously that if you positioned yourself correctly relative to DJ Stud, um, that you would you would reliably, without like any complicated setup, manage to trigger the weird glitch thing. The issue was that there was no place to do it on this table that let that led to you going upwards. Like I could. Okay, that was quite neat. Uh, it's completely useless for what I'm trying to do, but quite neat. But yeah, you can go sideways, can't go upwards uh, with that, or at least the, that I've found so far. I'm just going to quickly check. There's got to be invisible. Yeah. I figured there would be a ton of invisible walls here, but it's always worth checking. Um, But yeah, so that's... Yeah, there are time invisible walls off to that side. And we wouldn't be able to get far enough to utilise anything further away. But yeah, that's worth noting. That something somewhere here... I wonder if it... I wonder if it's the... Uh... I wonder if this makes sense. What if it's the, the f maybe the physics object of the maybe the player's physics object? If you're hmm. so normally when you hit something. And you're, you've got some sort of like upwards motion. The fact that your gravity is turned off for moving upwards, it remains the case. What I'm wondering, but obviously you don't move through the wall. What I'm wondering is if the game turns the upwards motion off. The second you collide, no, it can't do that. We know the motion is only applied once. What I'm wondering is if the, so the player's physics object is shaped something like a cylinder on top of a cone. What I'm wondering is if those two don't meet perfectly, if maybe the cone will occasionally Uh, if the if it's possible for the cone to clip the cylinder or the, the, the cone to if the cylinder's pressed up against something if it's possible for the cone to then clip the thing the cylinder was pressed up against on the way up and i don't mean clip as in like interesting out of bounds clip i just mean get caught on So I wonder how far back, whatever this, do I have to be like directly pressed to DJ start for this to work? I think I do. Feels like I do, so let's, finally I can slightly fair test something. Yeah, okay. So that I didn't actively move backwards, I just moved side to side and slightly rotated my camera in an attempt to move a tiny distance backwards. Let's just do that again. So that was a very small distance backwards. And all of that is far enough
all of that moves me far enough backwards so this no longer appears, which tells me that the glitch is definitely something to do with being pressed up against an object of some sort. Which is good to know, because like I wasn't the question. I guess there's still a question as to which object, um, or like maybe it is still an invisible physics object of some sort. I don't know, um, but it's seeming more likely now. It's seeming significantly more likely that it's me being pushed up against. Oh, this is interesting. So I don't naturally... Naturally, I'm not able to stand by the turntable. Like, I just slide down. I'm watching my head relative to the stud. I'm wondering if I push up close enough there. If that's somehow what triggers this. Because, like... So, the thing is, I can walk up that surface. I, I, can't, I can't think off the top of my head of anything nearby where I can demonstrate this. But um, this surface is something I can walk up. However, so what's, hap what's really happening here is that I'm walking up this surface. The reason why I can't like walk the whole way up it is because, for whatever reason, I'm hitting something that puts me into the sliding state. Something about the physics there moves me into the sliding state. Which is why I get that characteristic run up and run back down, or run up and slide down motion. Guess actually, let's uh, That was entirely unnecessary. Oh, oh let's also just uh, demonstrate something for my sake quickly. That's interesting. Look at that. Don't clip it on the way up, somehow clip it on the way down. It's very odd. Because that would then mean that I could... Oh, wait, there's something. There, that just happened, yeah. So there's some part there, I don't actually know what's causing it, but yeah, where you can get that same, like, bouncing off of it effect. Like, normally if you try and walk, like you see here, trying to walk somewhere I can't walk, I just won't be able to walk. I won't move at all, and you don't get that bouncing effect. I think I'm going to uh, be able to quite nicely show it over here. A little bit of lag, a bit of lag. Ghosting occurs. Uh, yeah, like, even this, this is too steep for me to walk up. Well, actually, I think that okay, there's invisible physics there anyway. But yeah, so this, I keep beginning walking up and then enter the sliding state. I wonder if maybe that thing is too steep to walk up, or if there's something else. I can test that, though, because um, I can see whether or not it's possible to... to land directly on here. But the thing that's really spring to... Okay, no, it does feel like I slide off of that, actually. But not all the way down, so that is standable. Okay, is it standable? Is it not? Must not be standable because I am being pushed to the side. But occasionally I. 
yeah, like before I got in a position like where I just was, rotated back and forth a few times and I then slid down it. I want So like you can see my feet are above it now. Move back and forth a few times, I slide down it. The reason why something like that would generally happen is because of the fact that whilst the character's hitbox is meant to be this particular shape, um, it isn't in practice. Uh, and it's not actually a perfect cylinder, it's as close as you can get to a cylinder using a certain number of vertices. Um, and so that's what's going on there. As I rotate this, eventually um, part of my character effectively pushes up against the slope and pushes me down. I think, anyway. Because as I rotate my camera, my character's model does rotate. But yeah, I also figured I should do something like this because previously you were getting, uh, like if I actually, I'm interested in some uh, people like helping out and noticing patterns in this, like, okay, you can notice patterns in the successful ones, but you have no way of knowing they weren't there in all of the other ones as well. So it's worth, worth having some sort of background. But yeah, so it is possible to like, properly uh, launch yourself sideways off of DJ Stud. I don't know if I can do it from like this steep angle, but... Ooh, that was interesting. I didn't expect to get that far. I mean, I don't think that really helps me, but I didn't expect to make it that far. But yeah, that doesn't really help me get any... Wow, I'm bad. Doesn't really help me get any extra height. It just gets me distance. And also note this is very much the exception rather than the rule because most minifigures in LU or most NPCs don't have hitboxes. That was a lot of build up and timing for me to just like completely not get it. I guess I can't actually time that right uh, because there is a 0.5 second delay on the spring shoes. I think it's 0.5. There's some delay on the spring shoes. Um, some small but finite delay. Yeah, the angle I'm holding the camera at shouldn't or at least the uh, the vertical horizontal angle the cameras that shouldn't make a difference um the like right and left that's that's allowed to that's fair game but you won't move at like if i'm like pointing vertically upwards i won't fly in a different direction um, So, I think it's interesting that, I mean, just for starters, having the repeatable uh, DJ Stud version of this is interesting. It's annoying that this table doesn't have any more, that, that, that like, none of the table is has its own physics. Ooh, okay, here's an idea. The table doesn't have its own physics. But, what happens if I do this? Okay, I need to actually clip DJ studs in the right way. But, I mean, my, so what I'm thinking is my, okay, firstly, let's actually, let's do a bit of a test. Can I even get this going in the wrong direction? Is that possible? 
Can I still get the same glitch? Okay, I can. That's good to know. So it's not direction dependent, which means my theory might work. So next step is to test, can I get it from like here? In this direction, let's say. I'm not 100% certain what actually happened there. It was, the lights were too bright for me to see properly. Something weird. I wonder if... Yeah, I must have landed like there on that edge of the, that edge of the table. The turntables. Um, so what I'm wondering is if I can... I don't think I can... I, I'm wondering if I can take advantage of the slope my player is on. And use that slope. To... So, like, where I am now. I'm gonna rotate around. This might push me away from DJ Stud, but I can then walk back into him. Like this. Okay, and now go. That's interesting. So, I moved down there. Why do I move down? No part of the theory I'm building for this suggests that I should move down unless there is. Unless there's something there that pushes me down. Which would lend weight to, to some sort of invisible physics object. The thing is, I dislike the invisible physics object theory because it's like, what, there's some random physics object in the game that nobody really knows much about. And it's like, I don't know, Occam's Razor says that that shouldn't be the case. Um, Maybe it is, but it feels like it should be. Feels like it's very unlikely. Okay, so that feels like maybe there I spend too much time in contact. Maybe, maybe that's what Maybe this is a, another bug related to related to those to some of those I've been investigating recently, uh, where you have two things kind of happen simultaneously. So, i.e., you touching the ground and then stopping touching the ground, or something something weird like that. Um, or like the skill activating right at the same second I touch the ground. Okay, so other tests, I guess. Let's just work out what is going on with physics. So, or at least let's let's do the little bit of testing I can think of to do, which is test where does this occur. So it does occur there. It did not occur from here though. So it occurs from the sides and from the front, but not from behind. And it occurs whether I'm whether I'm high or low. Didn't occur there. But note actually. Yeah, that's interesting. Now what happens when I try and walk up to this? You get that little bit of camera shake which indicates my character isn't pressed up against it. Not perfectly anyway. So I wonder what happens if I do this. Okay, nothing interesting. Um, this, because like I can press up against it here and I'm more or less fine. I'm not all of the time. Hmm. 
Okay, so the other question for me, from my perspective, is what is the physics of this skull? So that's the second thing we've got going on here. So we've got the we've got the table, we've got TJ studs, and we've got the skull. And it's some combination of those things. The combination of the skull and the turntable seems like it'll be the perfect way to get the character into a position where they should be sliding but aren't. I wonder if it's not the act of I wonder if it's not the fact that I'm turned around, but the act of turning around that sometimes causes this. I wonder if that can kind of help me clip. Uh, if it is some, if it is to do with there being a mismatch. Why can't these just be more repeatable? Um, because this part of me really wants to just have some nice, solid, large amounts of data to work with. If anyone else wants to try these out, uh, want to try this out on each shoe, uh, give me a shout. I would be incredibly grateful. Um, yeah, okay, so note if I walk, if I walk this way, nothing out of the ordinary happens. As I rotate in this direction, I move into and bounce off of this, which suggests that I am somehow, to some extent, partially walking up. Walking up it, and then the game realizes it makes me slip back down. I know. I haven't managed to get one today, and I, I guess I haven't been really focusing as hard on getting a standard one, but I was getting them quite regularly last night. The other thing it might have to do with uh, is speed and FPS. It's not ideal if it is, but then we need a way of manipulating that. If it's orientation dependent, wait a second, no. okay, let me do a test actually. This might give me some clues to whether or not it is orientation dependent, or as to whether or not it is this weird clipping thing that I'm theorizing it might be. So let's see how high I get up. Let's try that again. Okay, so my feet made it just above his head before I moved into the second animation. Now let's try try uh, this and let's try and do that but actually get the get the trick that didn't seem like they moved over his head actually did they i'm obviously looking at from a different angle so it's a little bit harder to tell was also utter nonsense I wasn't looking at it from a different angle um, so I don't think no so it seems like I didn't get any higher up which is interesting
That's a cool trick. But I still don't think he gets... I still think there's any way I can leverage that. I, mean, I can't think of anywhere, like, clever that I could go to to, like, gain me more heights with this. And, like, the physics of this setup is so specific anyway. Like, it's unlikely I'll find anywhere else with this physics, which means I'd have to do a standard spring jump from wherever I made it to. Which, like, is doable, but not ideal, necessarily. Let's just... Wait a sec, wait. Let's first off see what areas I can reach from this brick because none of those will be doable okay so so it extends way 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 above that Again, why do the devs do this to me? Um, when I say the devs, I mean the original devs. Like, come on, you didn't know about this trick. Why have you still de-cheesed everything so incredibly thoroughly? Um, okay, so this place is... Oh, I'm actually stuck out of bounds for the moment. Uh, let's get back in bounds. Maybe. So that place is potentially interesting, but do I, would an out of bounds clip on its own really get me anything? I mean, it wouldn't. That's also not a clip, shit. Got so used to clips with the quick build clip. That's, they're, not, they're not clips anymore. Okay, so there is some. Yeah, so there is some area standable physics here, but there is no way I'm getting up here. I don't think. If I were to get up here, this would be doable. I doubt I'll manage it first try, but this would be doable. Yeah, I'm using way too much height. Honestly, that's, had I managed it at that stage, that would have been the equivalent to me making it from DJ Stud. Um, which, again, maybe that is just the best way of trying to do this. Rather than trying to break the game in a new way, what if I just use the standard, standard old trick? old faithful I don't know if the staff is any different. It sometimes does feel a bit different, though. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it is. It wasn't just me in the past. It's significantly easier to uh, do this with the with Sensei Wu's staff, which you now can get in DLU. So that may be my route then. I think. I think I can do this in a reasonable number of spring shoes then. And that's gonna be far. Uh, it's more expensive, but far easier. Also, if I don't, if I bail when I've started and it's gone wrong, um, 
that will save me spring shoes in the long run rather than trying to retrieve the irretrievable runs oh, that lag spike didn't help But yeah, so okay, there is something about Sensei Wu's staff that makes this significantly, significantly better for this. I'm not going to make it. I do almost wonder if it's worth starting a little bit further back. Good start. That was a bad follow up. Feel like this is one of the times you want to do uh, what they do in Portal and rebind and do like rebinding of keys. So rebind, um, rebind something to a mouse to a mouse roller. Such that you can press it incredibly quickly. Okay, I think I need to. I think what I need to do is free timing. Wet is work on yeah, work on my timings of these. But this is. I mean, I managed it. This is doable. A little too early. Was that Wu's staff being better or did I just get an incredibly lucky run? Could be, but I got a really lucky run. It seems... It seems statistically unlikely that I would have had my first successful attempt with this method. the second I moved to a new thing, but it's, I mean, I've got one data point, so it's not without the realms of possibility. And I haven't spent too much time actually trying the height gain method. It's looking kind of good. I think that was a, that was a lag one there. Um, I think that was the reason my thing didn't work. Okay, that's interesting, I think. Something felt different. Uh, about doing it with that than with the uh, spear. Something very weird happened on that one, where we didn't get any uh, attack in the end, or at least we didn't get any attack animation. It's quite strange, I've not seen that happen before. And that was interesting, you uh, may have noted there I got a double jump. Like, and not just the second jump in a double jump, but I actually got a full double jump there. Oh! I know it's going on. Oh, this is easy! Oh! Okay, I, th I think I know what's going on. I think I know what's different here. Hmm. Okay, not quite. I there that last run, 
I was spamming alt significantly earlier than I would normally have done, and normally that would make me fail. For some reason it didn't. Don't know why. Yeah. Like, I could start... I was starting spamming there far sooner than I'm fairly certain I'm able to do with any other weapon. Which is the reason why I'm getting significantly more height gain. And it's also the same reason that the, uh... If I start spamming alt before I reach the peak of my jump, I don't get the same... I don't get the same delay. Um, I don't get the same, like, momentary stun, I think. Or whatever it is that happens. Okay, no, I just wasn't spamming quickly enough. <laughs> All right, there we are. Let's repeat that. And once more for luck. I'm fairly certain I can't do this with any other weapons. Maybe I can and I've just been making this harder for myself the whole time. I think I can do this, though, with, like, 20 spring shoes. Which is expensive, but if I go with a character straight there, that's doable. Oh, that's actually really doable, because I have to go to Ninjago anyway. Doing this badly, but it's... I, I shouldn't need 20, honestly. Um, but I should practice on here until until I get competent enough to put it off repeatedly. And let's also go and just... Okay, that's probably a bad item to test it with. <laughs> Test this with the basic spear. Can I do the same thing and I've just been an idiot this whole time? Or is this something specific to Sensei Wu's staff? Yeah, so that's the difference. For whatever reason, Sensei Wu's staff completely cancels the ongoing attack. I'll have to look into why it does that. Uh, but, yeah, it gets rid of that. And I guess that removes the stun. I need to get into the habit then of starting. I need to relearn this a little bit. So much of the technique I learned was about uh, not starting too soon. But here it doesn't matter. This is infinite height gain. And honestly, relatively easy infinite height game. Like, this could be much harder. Ooh, 
like, this, I think this counts as an out of bounds in basically every world. I don't think there's a world you can't get out of bounds in. Uh, moon base, moon base. You can't get out of bounds in moon base with infinite height. Um, aside from that, I think that's an out of bounds in every world then. Well, I'm going to go on to DLU then. I'm going to go on to DLU and actually try and pull this off in practice. Let's, okay, can I can I bring up the launcher and time time this as well as possible to reduce the minimum blackout time for you guys? No, I can't. It does say the application is already running. Okay, so I'm going to quickly pop on over to DLU and I guess see how far through I can get a character. Um, do I just use my existing Ninja Bell U character? Possibly. I think I'd like to. I think that would be a good idea to use my existing, use my existing character because, well, I'd have to, yeah, it's, I'm going to lose out on some money, but I'm going to spend, a, okay, I should also complete this dragon battle, but I'm going to spend a fair amount of time playing on this character. So it's like, I don't know, I'm unlikely to delete this character. But yes, this also means I have to do the dragon battle. Do I really want to do this? I'm too. I think I'm too excited to do this now. Um, so I'm actually gonna just head head on out. Uh, and get to uh, Ninjago as quickly as possible. I'm really interested in what makes Sensei Wu's staff so special. I'm gonna actually quickly. Um, but yeah, this I, I can't believe I found it from the height gain. That's very, very... And it all just happened because I... I don't know why I would have had Sensei Wu's staff. Because, um, like, why I had that on Uchi. Because I that was kind of by chance. And I don't know why I would have been using that. What I would have been trying to test out. I was a little bit risky that jump. Um, yeah, why would I have... Did I just complete... Oh, no, I did just go through the quest chain. And I couldn't be bothered to get a spear. So I just used that. I think that might have been what happened. It's for sake of safety, for the sake of speed. Um, he says and then runs into a rock and stubs his toe more or less in the LU equivalent thereof anyway I'm assuming it's so Wu's staff can't I, I swear it like can't require me to uh, fight any skeletons for it because the game is trying to teach you you can't fight skeletons without some shit too or maybe I don't know it feels like it, it's certainly not going to be very, very far into the quest chain because that is the first, the first elemental, not the first elemental, the first weapon you get. So yeah, I'm going to be inconveniencing myself later on uh, when it comes to a Valiant grind um, by spending coins on this now. But I don't see a particular alternative. So I'm going to go for it. Because um, I, I need to go to these places. Um, and yeah, I'm going to need to spend... Going to need to spend coins. I don't need to spend too much, but I, I I'll probably get... 10 spring shoes not because i think i can pull it off after 10 but i don't want to overbuy. however i also don't want to be in the middle of an attempt and to run out unfortunately what this means is that i'll end up having to make if i fail multiple attempts i'll have to make multiple trips which is going to be a bit annoying but we can work with I 
I deeply, deeply, deeply miss my uh, Batlord helmet. C1. C11. C12. C15. C16. C11. Did C11. Huh. Or at least I meant to. Maybe, I mean, presumably I didn't. Um. Uh, I don't need to do these missions, actually. Just need to go to Olivia Nightshade. Oh, yeah, what is it about... Yeah, there are so many subtleties to, like, item implementation to know you. I don't know how Woo's staff is doing that. It's really... That's really strange, actually, now I think about it. Because I should be stunned at that point. That's incredibly odd. Okay, I'm going to get 10 for now. And you can see, by looking at my coin count, why I don't want to do this multiple times. If I can possibly avoid it. Let's actually pick up some imagination. It's worth the couple of seconds. But yeah, so I'm a little bit annoyed with myself because I, I'm going to regret this. Like, I'm going to regret like using up loads of missions that get me easy coins. I'm going to regret that later on. But in fact, I I don't know. I think that's far and en far enough off in the future that I would have completed most of these missions anyway. Because like rank 35 is a long way off. For anyone wondering why I'm saying rank 35, that's when you can. Uh, by a Valiant. And that's the only thing it's worth grinding for in this game, really. Okay, that, no, no, that's not quite what I meant to say. Um, the only thing that's expensive in terms of money that one would grind for. Okay, so we're going to play through as much of this quest chain as is necessary to get to Woo. No, <laughs> I'm just going to be checking the rewards like constantly to see whether or not this is going to be the mission where I get my Spinjitzu. Oh, hello, there comes on. Yeah, you get sucky ninja commentary. Um, I imagine it's going to be quite fun. Uh, or it will be, especially during closed beta, um, to wait for people to start trickling through to this area um, and just watch them just standing on the bridge, unable to do anything. One downside of this is the cooldown is awful. Um, like, or the uptime. Like, on Quixicles, the uptime is like over three, over or equal to three quarters. There we are. Get that. We can leave and we can hopefully be the first person to legitimately, and by legitimately, I mean live accurately, um, get the imagination brick on DLU. I seriously cannot believe how much easier. I guess I don't need to. Do I need to record? 
Equip, damn it. Um, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that actually wasn't the worst thing in the world. I forgot I wasn't wearing my speedy cap, but um, having something regenerate imagination for me could be significantly worse. It could be a speed boost that only lasts um, half the uptime. I think it's less than half. Yeah, it's less than half. And that's quite a fast regen of, yeah, nine imagination, fast regen. It's worth swapping back and forth on that. I mean, obviously it isn't if you have alternatives, but um, if you're early on in the game, trying to get around quickly, that's probably the, one of the faster ways of doing so. Because even, yeah, it's, I'd say about the same speed as Smashables, uh, but works even on anti Smashables, because the issue of Smashables is whilst you can smash them like, uh, without stopping moving, i.e. like this, um, you, well, for starters you require them being there, but secondly you need to, uh, you it, they won't drop their stuff instantly. And if you're going at full speed, then you're actually, you won't pick it up. So I'm really interested in, in Wu's staff now. More testing needs to be done with this. Seems to have pretty fast attacks as well. Again, I'm not expecting anything to happen here, but always worth a try. Yeah, I just attacked right at the start. That shouldn't be doable. Let's just see. Yep, and there's my proof. I cannot press shift, uh, which meant that I moved out of the way. Let's try and do the same thing here. Shift, alt. Oh, I probably can't in that instance, uh, because technically I equip the rocket. Also, there's no way of knowing whether or not I was within uh, pressing distance as of the end. I'd need a second character to be online to check. worth a try. I'm not going to get into this now. Um, I really, really wonder what's up with that. Oh, that was some lag. Um, I mean, I should be used to it by now. be used to the ghosting, but uh, I'm not, as is evident. Okay. Let's give this a go. It's been a second since I did it on Uchi. Can I just pull up Uchi? Well, that would confuse the heck out of, get out of uh, OBS if I tried to pull up Uchi to practice. So... Let's just go for it. Oh, God, it's not going to end well. Um, that's a bad start. If you lost two, I don't think it will be. It will take eight for a single attempt. I hope it won't take eight for a single attempt. It takes well. I don't mind if it takes eight. I mind if it takes more than eight. Something feels a bit different. I feel like I'm moving further forwards than I normally do. 
more than I did on the Uchi. Like every time. I'm running out, but I guess I'm going to need to learn on this character anyway, so. What's going on? I'm deeply confused. It's like I am a hundred percent of the time going further. But yeah, I'm now just doing this for practice sake. I've, I have wasted ten thousand coins. There's no point trying it here because I won't be able to make it up with two spring shoes. Something's something's different, but I don't know what. Maybe I don't think there's a new cheap bug with spring shoes. Maybe there's a new cheap bug with uh, Wu staff. Anything like that feels like it should be. Should be far too client-sided. Wonder if it could even be related to this lag. That's incredibly strange. So I think what you're meant to do is get all of these going at the same time. What's different? Hmm, I'm deeply, deeply confused. But I guess that's about it for today then. Hmm. We'll see you all around then. It's a confused ninja noise. Bye.